Hey y'all and welcome back to Organically Designed. Today we're doing a three room transformation. It's actually two days for me, but as always, I wanted to share with y'all my HelloFresh because I'm absolutely obsessed lately. So we're gonna check out what we got from HelloFresh. What do we get from HelloFresh? So, let's see our three meals. Sweet soy, pulled pork, and green beans. Yum. Okay. White cheddar wonder burgers with caramelized onions, special sauce and old bay fries looks so good and then creamy chive chicken with lemony rice and dijon apple salad mm. okay i'm excited for this one all of our goodies i get my delivery on saturdays So that have everything for the upcoming week. I really thought that going the HelloFresh route was actually going to make me spend more money, but I have noticed that I spend so much less money at the grocery store now than I was because some of these mills are able to stretch out over two days instead of just one and on top of that my middle daughter is absolutely loving to cook but let's get into this transformation so we're transforming the back half of the living room the office dining room and my son's room so my son is three and a half and so all the toys are going to be going upstairs because he is wanting to spend some more time in his room playing so i thought right now would be the perfect time to get all my family rooms all together in one space in the house and get all his toys upstairs So I went ahead and got everything off of the floor so I could start cleaning and just bringing all the other stuff in here. So kind of having somewhat of a clean slate to start with, but you may have seen a little cage there at the beginning of this clip. And that is our little hermit crab, tater tot. Everett wants a snake or a lizard or something and I am not quite there yet but a hermit crab I will totally do. So while I was on momcation with one of my girlfriends I grabbed um, a little hermit crab before we left the beach. So now he is living in Everett's room and Everett's learning how to take care of something that is very minimal on the um, maintenance department. One thing that you're probably going to notice a lot of in my videos is that my kids are normally helping participate in some way or form in some of the larger cleaning spaces like 
especially if it comes to their own room or um, like the main living areas of the house with their family rooms and things. A lot of times my kids help clean. That's how it is regularly. Um, but I just wanted to put it out there because I know a lot of cleaning videos don't have their kids participating in that. But that's just how it is in my house. And so that's how I video it. And I know some people um, do it here and there. And for the most part, you'll see my kids in and out. But like Everett, he's participating in helping get his room ready. And um, the girls always like to help with the larger projects as well. So uh, that's what we have. So the goal was for Everett's room was to just use everything that I had. I didn't really want in any of the spaces to purchase anything. I knew that like in the office area, I was probably going to have to purchase another set of shelves, which you'll see later that I definitely am going to have to do. But with any organizing project, um, I'm trying to use as much of what I have instead of buying stuff new. And then once I really like how something is, then I'll go and purchase it and spend the extra money. Or I can always find something amazing at Dollar Tree as usual or Ollie's or some sort of discount store or something. But with organizing, you'll see like for the most part, I kind of have an idea in my head of where I want stuff, but then everything else is kind of like a trial and error. It's like, okay, switch this around, this is gonna work. And you know, it's like, I know what I want near as bad and I know that I want this over here, but you'll see me like go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with a lot of different things. And this video as my organizing process <laughs> goes through. And you'll also see that I am um, a fan of color coding things and having everything not everything but most everything kind of tucked away because my like ocd brain can't handle seeing a bunch of stuff out i just like everything where i can't see it
Normally, whenever I'm organizing, if y'all have seen some of my other organizing videos, even cleaning videos, and I'll do like a quick little organization project real quick, you'll totally see me decluttering things. And in this video, y'all aren't going to see me really get rid of anything because I didn't. This is all areas that I've previously gone through and decluttered. And I recently went through some of Everett's toys and just pulled out like, I probably filled up like half a trash bag full of stuff and then another toy that was just falling apart. It wasn't anything super exciting and thorough and satisfying to watch whatsoever. It was literally just like a ton of like little, um, like cheap toys that were broken and things like that. But normally I go, as I'm organizing things and putting them away like I am, I would be pulling things out and decluttering things that he doesn't really use that much or that I don't use that much or the family doesn't use that much depending on where I'm at in the house. But I definitely did not do that in this video because most of the stuff I had already recently gone through and decluttered and I did a decluttering challenge earlier this year and really got rid of a lot of stuff as well. And then I'm just constantly going through stuff. I think like anytime I see something, I'm like, Kylie, they haven't played with that in a while. And I just get rid of it. So definitely could probably use to do it a little bit more because Christmas is coming up. But I think I'm going to wait to declutter until after Christmas when I reorganize more stuff. So there will be more of that to come. So y'all are missing out on the decluttering in this one but don't worry because in most of my videos there'll be some sort of tossing and getting rid of something So some of the toys stayed in the closet in the baskets because those are things that I want Everett to ask permission to bring out just because they're larger things and he normally needs help to build them and put them together like the Hot Wheels tracks and things but everything else fit great in this room and he still has the whole center of the bedroom to play in so everything worked out just right and my brain did not fail me today on my organization plan for his room and there's Tater Tot's little home he sleeps in that coconut. So when I moved the couch, a lizard was spotted. So this is <laughs> me trying to chase the lizard back out of the house. But those little suckers are so fast, the little small ones. And we get them all the time um, around the house. But <sighs> I haven't had one in a while come inside. So I'm trying to like scoot him out with my feet and guide him out because he would not let me grab him. And they slip out between your fingers like super easy. <laughs> So the way that our house is laid out is this is 
the dining room but we kind of use it as a dining room school room office craft whatever space and it's at the front of the house and it's down a hallway down like a short hallway from the kitchen but the kitchen has like an open window area like bar area that like goes into the back half of the living room where the playroom was and so i just decided that since everett's stuff was going to go upstairs that instead of having the back half of the living room as, as another like seating area we would have it as the dining room and that way the kitchen and the dining room and the living room were all kind of like one space instead of separate areas and then the little space we had as the dining room is going to be kind of like a little seating area slash office slash kind of like where I keep kind of more of my bigger craft stuff and the back half of the living room where the dining room is i moved our hutch in there you'll see me move that um, with the help of my husband but that has all like cookbooks on it and i decided to keep all the kids crafting things in there and then move the board games there so that our dining room was also not just a place to eat but a place to play games together as a family and do kid friendly crafting and so I even brought the bookshelf from the front room that I used so I could have like one bin there for Everett so we would still have some activities downstairs. But that's the goal of this. And so you'll kind of see this whole transition and I just love how it turned out and we are just absolutely loving this space. This hutch was painted by its previous owner. It's actually kind of like a desk attachment kind of thing or like a, um, you know, something you, like a hutch you would use for an office, not a dining room. But um, I got it pretty inexpensive and I'm eventually going to sand it all down and repaint it and repaint the hardware. The woman who I bought it from painted the hardware um, like a silver and I want to change it to black and I just want to give it a better coat of white on here possibly maybe another color I'm not sure I'm probably gonna end up keeping it white just like having the white furniture because I can move it around but I use just like a little sponge and my microband spray just to kind of give it a good wipe down before I moved it. I'm not ready to sand it all down yet because it's going to be like a whole project. Like that's just not something I'm really good at refinishing furniture, but um, definitely wanted to get it clean before I moved it. Just to make things easier.
The microband spray that I'm using is in the Fresh Scent. I've talked about it a couple of times before in a couple other videos because I've been using it since my husband got COVID. And I'm just trying to use it up before I remake a lot of my homemade cleaners. I started making homemade cleaners um, because I couldn't find any of my go-to cleaners in the store during the main part of 2020 when everything was like crazy ridiculous. So I started making my own and the same thing with my detergent. I was like, well, if I'm already making my cleaning products, I might as well make laundry detergent and all that stuff too i've switched back to some things getting some name brand stuff and cleaners and things back in and um doing bleach here and there again which is one of my favorite things i just i really love the smell of bleach it's actually one of my favorite scents that and mint and coconut probably on my top three list of my favorite smells um just because they remind me of like coconut reminds me of warmth and mint just smells clean and so does bleach i just okay everybody has their weird smell but that bleach is one of my favorite smells anyway so i'm just trying to use up this microband spray um and cleaning and then i'm going to switch back to my homemade cleaners but i'll go ahead and link the videos below of my recipes for all my homemade cleaners and my detergent. I made a huge thing of powder detergent back in February and we are just now about to finish it up and I use our homemade detergent in every single load of laundry that we do and we are a family of five so you can only imagine the amount of clothes that we accumulate during a week and we're pretty much running, running the washer like every day so definitely link that below because i did it all for like under 40 dollars pretty much for the basic part of it and um this time this go around i'm going to change it up just a little bit so i'll be sure to make sure that i film that and add that into one of my future videos but I'm going to get back to doing some of the organizing over here, putting some of my little tea towels and decorative towels for the season. Um, just what fit really good in this little skinny drawer. And since it's next to the kitchen, it worked out well. And we have such a small kitchen, so any space saver is great. So we're getting back to turning this into a dining a family room and really making this part of the house really somewhere where we can hang out and do everything in. Without trying, and how will we 
this is a pure example of lazy cleaning right here Everett was eating that yogurt tube the yogurt earlier and I was helping him finish it but I didn't realize that when he started he had put it all over the couch and by the time I got to it it had kind of dried in there and I was just like I am not taking these cushions off and cleaning this so I just used some little alcohol wipes and it came out really easily I had to scrub it a little bit but on the table um, since we have been using it for crafting a lot I wanted to give the table like a really good scrub down so I used a wet scrub like scrub daddy dupe sponge from the Dollar Tree and um the dawn power wash was i'm pretty like obsessed with right now too that's another thing that i'm really liking along with the microband i'm really liking the dawn power wash and whatever the original scent is of that because it has kind of like that fresh scent too i'm not a big fan of the other scents that they have they're just kind of funky to me but um i wanted to give like a good scrub down and I've never tried the actual Scrub Daddy sponge. I'm going to compare it to my love for the Dollar Tree version because I really like the Dollar Tree version. So I'm like, okay, if I like this one this much, then maybe I'll like the Scrub Daddy or the Scrub Mama Mommy one. Um, so I'm actually going to splurge on a sponge and um, get the Scrub Daddy this weekend and see which one I like better. And I'll be sure to let y'all know. So, um, but I'm kind of excited because the scrub daddy has like all the holes that will help like clean certain things better. So I'm kind of like, hmm, maybe, the, maybe I'll like it, I don't know. But I went ahead and since I did it on the big dining room table, I needed to give Everett's little table a really good scrub down. I feel like I need to do this like, weekly normally i wipe it down with just like a cleaner and stuff but the power wash mixed with the water and just the scrub daddy sponge got red dye stains out of the white wood table super amazed at this and was like okay i'm now i'm wiping everything down with this stuff so anyway Let's get back to cleaning up, and yes, that's mac and cheese on the floor. So, this is how we do it on the weekend. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed, and now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you wanna be, and I can feel what you love. Oh, 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 I'll never let go. Oh, 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 oh. Cause I, I, I'm falling for love. I'm falling for love. 
I really wanted to change how this space is and I know earlier that I talked about that this was kind of me kind of like an office okay so um really this is my space <laughs> this is a totally mine I wanted a space that um was kind of like just for me but I could still like hang out in and do um some bigger projects and i can have like a whole space to kind of sit out and lay on the floor i'm not really like a sit at the table crafting person i've always done everything kind of like on the floor so this is going to be such a good space i love these um metal shelves that i have here and i decided let me put the things that were from the bookshelf and the printer and my cricut joy and the, all the little office supplies right next to the desk and then I've ordered another one of these shelves because all the baskets that were on this one I'm going to put on the other one um, further down the wall and then eventually on the other side of the room um, I'm going to have like the treadmill and stuff like that so it can really be kind of like a, a space like an oasis and we're eventually going to put one of those like barn door like sliding doors um because then that way we don't have to worry about anything opening into the hallway and blocking the hallway or blocking any of the space inside the room so it'll just be kind of like a, a couple of doors that slide back and forth but anyway that's the big plan but I'm really enjoying having a space that I can go into and even though it's like open for everybody it's just kind of like a space for me because like each of my kids they have their room and my husband has um the shed out back where he has all his stuff and then he also has like most of the garage where he has his race car and stuff and even though like i have a room to go into and things it's not really where i have my things that I get to craft and mess around with and do YouTube with and just like little hobby stuff to kind of like get away from the everyday. So not going to shut everybody out, but this is going to be my space and I have some Christmas gifts there in the corner and a lot of this is going to change and I'll of course bring y'all along for whenever those other shelves come in and I really start putting some other pieces in here. So I'm just really excited to kind of have like a place that I can be like, okay, this is like my space and I can kind of like come in and hang out and I've had this couch for 10 years now and it's from my single days and it's kind of, you know, it's just... I don't know getting back to doing things more for myself and that's something that I'm really trying to push myself to do and I really encourage other people to really make that time and let's be honest I don't get to do it much but it is important Check. 
Everett's room is done and it turned out great and the office is a work in progress and I'll keep y'all along for the ride on that. And our family area with the kitchen and the dining room slash family room slash <laughs> living room slash 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 turned out so good and it has been quite a few days since I completed this video and we are still every day saying how much we are enjoying having this space to come into and really getting to be a part of the whole night being all in one room together it's just been so nice but as always y'all remember to stay organically you and have an amazing rest of your day